So I was talking with a colleague today about the uh, pick and place machines and uh, plans for them and what we're going to be doing. Um, obviously we're going to be converting these over to open PNP. Uh, plan is to have one run and one convert and then convert both or turn the other one into a 3D printer. Um, very, very big 3D printer. So the main trouble has been, well, the main worries with converting these machines is the gantry motors, so X and Y. Um, in a previous video, we found quadrature encoder signals for the axis here. And I believe they're the same ones are gonna be on the test adapter here, since they have the same pinout on the test adapters. Um, and they're both conversion boards. So my main worries about the conversion of the DC servos is fairly well resolved uh, with the open source um, DC servo controller, which is going to be on crowd supply soon. I'll put a link for that in the description. Um, I'm looking at building a 100 volt version of that, which will also handle some higher amps. That's pretty much just switching out MOSFETs, really, um, and a couple of the caps. So that leaves the head. The star head is just unbelievably complex. Um, there is a whole video on that where we went through that up at Logican in Edmonton. Uh, awesome assemblers, highly recommend them. So there's the rotation motors, there's the camera, there's the whole spinning thing, the number of encoders and stuff. It's a lot of work to reverse engineer and convert that. So plan at the moment, which I came up with with a colleague, um, well, rather sparked by my talks about this with a colleague, is let's leave that for later. Um, Peter Betts and I have been working on head designs uh, with Anthony. Um, there's some really good head designs in the pick and place community. We've got a whole stack of feeders here all ready to go. So let's pull this star head off and the IC head off and put one of our heads on here. Um, we've got water jet cutting capabilities, so let's just build a water jet head. I've already got all the SolidWorks files done. Um, we did build a small little pick and place machine based on Anthony's, which is all water jet cut. So basically what I'm thinking is, if I get this down here, we have ourselves a linear bearing under here, uh, somewhere. <laughs> this is the rail it runs on. Uh, Back under there is the linear bearing, which this whole star head sits on. This is the star head here. Um, and the IC head hit sits on that. So then all we need to do is get this clamp for the T5 belt and that bearing. And we have ourselves a replacement gantry. Stick a couple of uh, NEMA 8 motors on there, or even NEMA 11 motors. We already sell um, pick-and-place tool holders for Juki nozzles. We have Juki nozzles. Um, a new batch of pick-and-place tool holders is getting sent off to uh, Peter from the machine shop downstairs tomorrow. Um, 60 of them are finished today. So they're going to be going off tomorrow. Ready for people who have pre-ordered them. So basically, we're going to run this as a standard open PNP head. <coughs> Excuse me. As a standard open PNP head. And we're just going to switch out... The, we're going to be using a different gantry. Uh, for that, we'll need the DC servo controller, at which point we can probably just run this off a smoothie board. Um, I don't know if smoothie can generate steps fast enough, considering the quadrature of this, but uh, if that fails, there's a uh, BeagleBone project which will generate 2 million steps per second, um, and we can use that. So we'll replace these cameras with our ELP cameras. Uh, we'll just have a down cam, We'll have an up cam, potentially even that one, which we'll switch out with a industrial camera. Um, or we'll just mount a little ELP camera in here for now. But uh, that should get this thing moving. Um, obviously Gant, the, the rail adjustment for these will have to be manual for now, but it's a really good stepping stone, I think. So we can figure out these um, the feeders. I need to do a video on that, I'll do that next. Um, and we can get this whole star head removed and replaced and we'll have ourselves a one and a half ton open PNP 
two nozzle head. Um, it is dropping from 13 heads down to two, so productivity will be limited, but it means that we can get something going probably three to six months sooner than if I have to design electronics and reverse engineer this whole head. I will still do that, but that's gonna take some time.